Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, I want to share with you the two most dangerous foods that you can consume. Now, you probably are thinking it's sugar-related or junk food, but actually it is corn and soy. Yeah. Did you realize that corn and soy makes up 50% of the crops that are grown in the U.S.? Yeah, it's incredible. An average person consumes 70, 700 calories of their diet of these two so-called healthy vegetables. So corn and soy make up 40% of your diet. That's incredible. 93% of all the soy grown in the U.S. is GMO. 85% of all the corn grown in the U.S. is GMO. So what is GMO? It's an alteration of the, the food. It's an alteration, in this case, it's a resistant to a certain uh, herbicide called, which is a weed killer called Roundup Ready or glyphosate. So in other words, when they grow corn and soy, you can spray this with this herbicide and they won't die. All the weeds die, but they don't die. Okay? So you're getting a lot more of this chemical. So what are the dangers? Well, there's been some suppressed studies, independent studies, not by Monsanto, who actually owns this, this technology, and they found that it causes some serious problems in animals, okay, animal studies, because who wants to do on human studies? Um, we're doing a human study now with, with, in your diet, but the point is that uh, in animal studies, they found that it cr creates all sorts of cancers of the breast, of the liver, of the kidney, of the uterus, okay, of the ovaries. Yeah, I know. So the problem is that the World Health Organization only requires um, you to do studies for 90 days, three months, okay? And if you pass the 90-day mark or actually you get through it, it's considered safe. Yeah. Well, right now there's class action suits. I don't know how far it's going to go because Obama passed a law in the middle of the night, of course, that states that if Monsanto gets in trouble, um, well, they can't sue them, basically. So they're not going to really get in trouble because there's a law that protects them, unfortunately. Um, and I'll put the link down below. You can check it out. But here's the data on glyphosate. There's a lot of unknowns right now, but in the last 15 years, there's been a 3,000 increase in exposure to this darn pesticide. Okay, and this, I'm sorry, this herbicide. And this herbicide creates alterations in your endocrine system. It's considered an endocrine disruptor, and it acts like estrogen. And that's why it creates a lot of cancer and other, problem, other problems as well, allergies, probably autism and all sorts of things. Okay, so I just want to show you something. Let's take a look at some of the hidden foods, okay? What about ketchup, high fructose corn syrup? What about all the dressings with the soy oils and the corn oils? Um, here's some hidden um, corn products. Citric acid, that's actually in vitamin C. Uh, confection sugar, corn flour, corn fructose, corn meal, corn chips, corn syrup, dextrin, dextrose, fructose, high fructose corn syrup, lactic acid, malt, monodiglycerides, MSG, monosodium glutamate, sorbitol, starch, baking powders, and many synthetic vitamins. Okay, that's, that's in corn. Now in soy, bulking agents, carob, emulsifiers, gargum, natural flavors, soy beverages, all the weight, like a lot of the weight loss programs have soy, um, isolated protein type um, powders, incredible. Textured vegetable protein, vegetable broth, I, um, diet foods. I mean, there's over 3,000 foods that have corn and soy, okay? So the problem is we're in an experiment right now. We can't even know what we're eating. We're getting exposed to it. It's hard to avoid it. So you're going to have to do three things, okay? Number one, you're going to have to try to avoid this. Start reading labels. Okay, you're going to have to avoid. I put a link down below that you can print out some hidden foods that you need to start becoming aware of to avoid as much soy and corn as possible. And tell your friends, your family, and just make sure they don't consume it, especially if you're at risk for breast cancer or any type of cancer. I mean, we're all at risk, right? Um, number two, make sure as much as possible you start eating organic. Why? Because if it's organic, corn or soy, then that means it's not GMO. Okay, so that's one way. So number three, 
you're going to have to start consuming foods that deactivate some of these, I call them poisons, in your liver. Okay, And so what you can do with that is you start consuming a little bit of cruciferous in the diet. Kale, broccoli, br Brussels sprouts, things like that. That will slowly start to protect you because those are anti-cancer foods, anti-estrogenic foods. Okay, So number one, avoid it. Number two, get organic. Number three, eat cruciferous foods that will deactivate some of the stuff in the liver. Okay. All right. So on that note, on that fun note, um, go ahead and leave your comments below and I will see you in the next video.